Hi everyone. I know I said that I'll be back sooner than this, but I was busier than I expected. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I had a pretty good one. I ate pretty good. My mom made my favorite cake, which was the Del Monte Nut Cake. I love that cake. And uh, my brother came down from Atlanta. It was nice to see him and the boys. Hi. And uh, pretty uneventful. I didn't really do too much. I relaxed on my vacation. It was nice to not do nothing. Didn't go nowhere. Those are the, really the best vacations. Because even when you go on vacation and you go away somewhere, you have to rest when you come back. But anyway, um, I went back to work today. And uh, a friend of mine is actually due to have surgery. She was due to have surgery tomorrow. And she had been planning for this and planning for this. And um, it was a major surgery. She was going to be out for six months. And because she's basically been living in pain, I'm not going to divulge in what's going on with her, but she had been living, she's been living in pain, basically on um, pain pills and Vicodin, muscle relaxers, you know, some days are better than others for her. So, um, she found out today from her insurance that uh, they said that she didn't need the surgery. When did insurances become doctors? When is it they, that they are able to dictate how I feel and they are able to say, you know what, you don't need that surgery. You're not really hurting that bad. You can live with it. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So you'll pay for me to keep Filling myself up with pills, Vicodin or muscle relaxers or whatever, what have you, to make myself feel better. This is a condition that I'm living with that can be corrected with surgery. And it's possible that when it's corrected with the surgery, I won't need those pills anymore, which will be money that I won't have to pay for and money that the insurance won't have to pay for because, hello, I'm pain free. I don't understand that. And the uh, the most ignorant thing is that they told her the day before, after you've prepared yourself mentally, you've prepared yourself physically, you've told your family, you've made arrangements to be in the hospital for your stay, you've packed, you've moved things around, you've, you know, you've set things aside at your workplace, and then they turn around and they tell you that you don't need that. It's ignorant. And I, and I will put the insurance company on blast. It's personal care. Now, you pay every month for your insurance and then still you get to dictate to me. These HMOs is something else. You get to dictate to me what I can have and what I can't have. What's the purpose of me paying for insurance? What's the purpose? I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, you're taking money out of my check and I'm paying an arm and a leg. Insurance is going up all the time. You know, every time they renegotiate things, the insurance is going up. So, President-elect Obama, I know that he plans to make insurance universal. But what are you going to do about the insurances? when they start rejecting you for things that you need. You know, it's going to be great that everybody can have insurance. That's great. But what good is insurance if they're not going to pay for anything? What good is insurance if I'm putting in money for it monthly and it's coming out of my check and they're not going to pay for nothing and they're telling you what? You're overriding the specialist. You're overriding, you know, the specialist who's saying, yes, you really could benefit from this. You need this and this would help you in the long run or this would be crucial for you and you're over, they're overriding it. What's the purpose of the insurance? I'm just giving my money away just because. So 
really something needs to really be done about that. Like I said, it's great that we're going to be, you know, that he's initiating maybe a universal insurance. But what happens when you need that surgery and you can't have that surgery? You know, they're telling you that you got to pay so much out of pocket. How is that going to change? So, that's all I wanted to really talk about and vent about because, I, you know, she was really upset about that. And I don't blame her being upset about it. You thinking you're getting ready to hopefully be pain free and it's something you've been living with for a long time. And then they tell you that, no, you can't have it. It's pretty sad. So, she has to appeal it. You have to go through all this paperwork and more red tape. Just to get this done, you have to start this process all over again. It's ridiculous. So, But anyway, that's all I have. Um, it's snowing out here already. I do not like the snow. And I am already went into protective style mode anyway with my hair, as you can see. These are just big twists, and I pinned them all up. But um, I want everybody to take care. Be careful out there because it's slippery. Um, at, least, at least on my side of the world in Chicago. So, take care. Talk to you soon. One, four, three.